So, I've been investing more and more time into the Battlefield 1 beta and I'm having a really, really good time with it. But I'm trying to take myself out of my comfort zone just a little bit. Maybe try out some play styles that I wouldn't normally go for. And that's just to get an all-round feel of all of the parts in this beta. Now today, I have a very cool streak here in the bomber with Chief Pilot Demise99. And uh, you might know him as Alan Kurtz. He's a DICE developer, and we hooked up this morning for a few games of Battlefield 1. He's a great pilot. I'm not. So I took the front seat with the death cannon, and we took off into the skies. Now, you know that video that I made a few days back about the E-Point being a capture zone where planes can take part? Well, this footage here shows you that, and it's actually a really cool experience, being able to have a direct effect on the battle below. I'm hammering out rounds, taking down the spawning enemy infantry, and after a minute or so, we succeed in capturing it. It was a pretty cool moment because I haven't seen this type of gameplay much in the beta myself, but there are plenty of people who are telling me in the comments and over on Twitter that you really like this aerial capture system. And I can totally see why you like it. In the bomber though, it's a very different playstyle to maybe what the fighter or the attack plane can offer you. They're both much more nimble aircraft. The bomber, as the name suggests, is much more suited to bombing runs, dropping explosives below and clearing a path for infantry and vehicles on the ground. But here, Alan managed to circle the objective and let me use the cannon on the front to take down the infantry. A very different way of capturing the flag, but we got some good results out of it. It is worth noting, though, that the enemy team clearly weren't aware of the AA gun that they could have been using to take us down. The E-flag is extremely open in its layout, and if they had noticed the AA gun, we would have found the capture a lot harder to complete. The aerial combat in Battlefield 1 is, for me, much more satisfying than it was in Battlefield 4. In that game, you almost felt like you were flying solo. I mean, you were on your own in the jet, and most of the time you couldn't really work together with another aerial vehicle to take people out. With the removal of helicopters in Battlefield 1, the bomber and the attack planes are the only two air vehicles that you can use with more than one player. I mean, there is the airship, which is one of the behemoths, but that isn't on this map. It would have been a lot harder for Alan to kill infantry and lock down flags on the ground if I hadn't have been in the plane helping him out with the cannon. Sure, he could have done some strafing runs with the bombs, and you can see some of that in the background here, but we are much more effective as a team with two people and even three in the bomber than just the pilot on his own. This multi-seater air combat system is really satisfying to play in. You and your mates can hop in and go for a good run on the server, rather than being stuck on the ground in a tank, for example. In Battlefield 4, this type of combat was really only open to the little bird and the attack chopper to an extent, but even then the playstyle was very different. Those vehicles were very easy to manoeuvre. The bomber is a very big, heavy bit of kit, and can't be moved very easily. It takes a long time to turn this thing around. It requires some good communication to keep this thing in the air and taking out targets. And that leads to some really, really good teamwork. And that's exactly what me and Alan had right here. I'm yet to really get a chance in the heavy tank, that big six-seater one. Again, it's not my normal play style, but when I do get some good footage of it, I'd love to show you that here on my channel. I've been a passenger many times, but not for really an extended period. I've never really been truly effective. But these are the types of gameplay, like in the background now with the bomber. I'd love to get more of that here on my channel when Battlefield 1 launches, to bring you just a little bit more than infantry play. I'm very aware that I'm an infantry player on the battlefield. It won't ever dominate my channel at all, but it'd be nice to get some good tactical gameplay up with some of my friends, get a live commentary up here, and show off what teamwork can really do on the battlefield. Playing with Alan today showed me what teamwork really exists in Battlefield 1, and even though people say it's completely dead or teamwork has been dumbed down as Battlefield moves forwards, I even got revived a couple of times today. How crazy is that? There is definitely teamwork here in Battlefield 1, 
You might just have to look a little bit harder or work with one of your friends to find it. If you'd be interested in seeing like a weekly live comm series, then leave a like on this video. Let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure that that happens in the future. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you're having a really good time with the Battlefield 1 open beta. Just to make you aware, the closing date for the beta is September the 8th. So it's not far away now, only three or four days or so. So make sure you get yourself in there and get some more playing done before it's taken away from all of us. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.